Okay, now we're in front two! Another episode of Game Front Update! Can I have my coffee? Yeah. There you go. Iron Man Cup. Hey, oh, uh, that reminds me. Uh, do you know why I'm wearing my Marvel's Capcom 3 shirt? Because it's a day of the week? Because it is <laughs> a day of the week, yes. Uh, Avengers comes out! Alright. I'm going to a midnight showing of Avengers, and this is the closest thing I have to an Avengers Yeah, show. I'm surprised you're even here, honestly. You got tickets to see all of the films. Yeah, I have a... It was a, a marathon of every single film leading up to the Avengers, uh, and then the Avengers... And know, if this is a real marathon, you'd be considered a cheater. Yeah. Because you're going to come in halfway. Yeah. No one's, no, one's, no one's looking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> but yeah, uh, aim for update. There's a whole bunch of uh, games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you totally. Wow. Hey guys, we had our time for the. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's past. I, I oh, thought right. I thought it was a good it was a good time though. Okay. Uh, so, biggest thing, Black Ops Two trailer. What'd you guys think? I didn't. I don't care. You don't care. That no. Well, let, let's. Okay. Uh, I seem to remember you say, saying something uh, with much more harsher language. What What did you say so about I'm not Black Ops Two? You don't want me close to you. When you oh, say it, looks, it was. It looks like shit. No, you. Well, yeah. You say it looks like a giant turd. Okay. <laughs> uh, James. Well, we know what Zach thinks about it. What do you think? Well, about let's it? hear what you think about it first. All right. Well, I remember a time when uh, I would I would see a Call of Duty trailer and be super excited about it. Uh, that time has long since passed. Yeah, like what? Call of Duty Three. No, Call of Duty Three was was horrible actually. <laughs> I think that's why it was the last one I actually cared for. Oh when no, it came out. Well, I was like, oh, Modern Warfare, oh. Uh, Modern Warfare One kind of revamped the series for me. I think in, in a lot of people's eyes, I think oh, it was a really important game, and yeah, I was genuinely excited for Modern Warfare One. I was genuinely excited for Modern Warfare Two. Uh, was not excited for for Black Ops. Was not excited for Modern Warfare Three, and. Not really excited for Black Ops Two, but I'm sure it'll be a, a great game. I'm sure that it's going to sell a million, millions and millions of copies. I'm just not sure if it, the the magic isn't there for the Call of Duty franchise anymore. It hasn't been there for a while for me. All right. Well, from my from my perspective, I am excited for it. I'm really excited for it. Uh, and there's two reasons. First off, I like Call of Duty. But I like almost everything, so I'm not going to be... Yeah, it's not that I like it. You like Call of War S. I like Call of War S. Great game. Excellent <laughs> voice acting. Uh, I used to work... I, I was on the dev team for Black Ops, and and I know what it's like there, and they pour everything they have into mm -hmm. it. Like, there is no holds barred. Yeah. I was there my longest day. I worked 27 hours straight. And, like, that is Challenge. hard. That's longer than a day. Yeah, it is. It is. It was. It was three more than that. And like, they treat you well there. It's all about the product. And people will complain like it's another Call of Duty. Well, you got to keep in mind that that's what they get paid to do. Mm -hmm. And if you work at a coffee shop, you can just go to a coffee shop and you can just pour coffee and that's it. I worked at a coffee shop for seven years. But what I ended up doing is I, I decided, okay, if I'm going to be at a coffee shop and I have to make this product because this is what I get paid for, I'm going to make latte. I started being able to do, you know, the little things inside, then made hearts. But then I was like, you know what, I still have to get paid to do this, but I'm going to further my art. Mm -hmm. I can make faces, I can make different words in there. And that's what it's like for, I, I get upset when people are like, this is going to be trash, it's just another Call of Duty. These people are paid to do a product. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do everything they can within their realm to push it forward. Yeah. And they're doing everything in their, in their power uh, to make the best Call of Duty possible, and from working with those guys, I know that they're going to do a good job. Yeah. They will still be a Call of Duty game, and I'm still going to like it just as much as any other game, but I am excited to see what, what people that I used to work with, like how much further they can take it. Mm -hmm. Am I excited about being in the future? Not particularly. Am I excited to see more zombies in it? Absolutely. Yeah. So I think that's going to be the most, that's the most interesting thing about uh, Black Ops 2, is going to be what they do next with zombies, because... I, th I feel like that has always been the big innovating factor of the Call of Duty, of the Black Ops and, you know, the Treyarch, the Treyarch games. Uh, I would World gladly War. pay for just a zombie. I was going to say, why aren't they just doing that? Because that's what I'm they, excited for. That's I, the thing. That's not what they're necessarily yeah. paid for. That's not the product that Activision is buying from them. They, mm -hmm. like, as long as we're buying coffee, people are going to sell coffee. Yeah. And as long as we're buying Call of Duty, they're going to they're gonna sell it. 
Yeah. So they have to make this product. They're going to make the best one that they can. Mm -hmm. and, I and, I, and I agree. I think, I, like I said, I do think that all of the, the, call, the, the recent Marvel, uh, Call of Duty games have been great. It's just it's to this point where, you know, year after year, uh, you play the same kind of, you know, set piece moment after set piece, set piece moment, uh, single player campaign. Uh, the you know yeah they they implement new things into the multiplayer. Uh, I think the 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 most recent Modern Warfare added the different strike packages, but ultimately it doesn't change uh, that much from Modern Warfare One to Modern Warfare Two. Now I Warfare agree 3. with you on that, but I I don't think that any of the games were that similar to Black Ops, and I will obviously have a sided point of view because I've worked on it for a long time. But the storytelling in that I thought was way better than the storytelling in any of the other From movies. Black Ops, yeah, I, I'll agree with that. I think uh, the story of Black Ops was definitely better than the story of the, the Modern Warfare games. However, I still don't. It's still no Bioshock. It's still no. Uh, it's it's mid level, you know, storytelling in video games. We'll have to agree to disagree. <laughs> I mean, it could it could have been better, but but. Uh, but yeah, it, I, I still liked it a lot. For what I was what I was expecting, it, it surpassed my expectations. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, well, sorry, we should move on. We should move I on. can talk about it forever. Yeah, and we wow, six minutes. Okay. Yeah, I, all I gotta say was really that it was a turn. Yeah. So. Did you want to say more? All you have to do is just, really I didn't need to get more. All like, Zach has to do is shit. It's crap. crap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is actually yeah. just a giant. So, sorry, of I, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that disagree with me. I'm passionate about it because I spent a lot of time there and the, I love those people. Yeah. Um, and I get that, but at the same time, it's like it's like a Michael Bay movie. It's like it's just a big budget ball of sweetness that I don't know. Just Moving on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> Before teams get started again on that comment, <laughs> uh, God of War Ascension has four versus four competitive multiplayer, which is crazy. That is crazy to think that God of War is now. Going to be a competitive multiplayer. They've never game. had this before. No, it's. I mean, God of War has always been the the quintessential like single player action game experience. So it's really weird. It's well, actually, it's kind of similar to uh, Assassin's Creed getting getting its multiplayer. So we'll see if it has the same kind of success in crossing over from a primarily single player focused game to you know a very unique style of competitive multiplayer. And you know, once again, you guys haven't played God of War series, so yeah. there's not really much to, to talk about, I guess. I uh, played Kratos in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. And that was fun. That was fun. Uh, it looks like I, I really don't. I, I really have to play it myself to, uh, to get an opinion about it because I don't see how the God of War combat system will lend itself to, uh, to competitive multiplayer. It's kind of like what they did with Ninja Gaiden 3. Uh, having its you know multiplayer action games don't really work in a fighting game setting, so I I don't know we'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm eager to try it. I'm not very optimistic about it, but you know the people over at Santa Monica Studios and the God of War people do good. I was stuff. over there this week. Oh yeah. Oh for for Starhawk. Yeah, I got to I got to talk with uh, Dylan Joe. The head of Lightbox Interactive. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> it was fun. That place is cool too. All right. So next up, Little Big Planet Carding. I, I imagine you're excited about that. Absolutely. You love. Uh, I love Mod, Mod Nation. I love Mod Nation Racers. The big problem with that was the load screens. I will. Be I heard. So upset. I heard that the load screens are still an issue. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Mario Kart can make no load screen problems. Uh, I read though that instead of it just being like a little you know circle in the screen that you're waiting for it to be filled, uh, the loading screen is actually a fly through of the track. So I mean at least that I mean that helps. It helps. I mean I loved Mod Nation Racers. The the multiplayer aspect was pretty much useless. Mm -hmm. It was so tough. I haven't checked it out. Maybe I'll go after hearing the news of Little Kart Racing. Little Big Planet Kart. Little Big Planet Racing Karting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna probably play some Mod Nation Racers again, and maybe maybe they fixed it with a patch because I heard they were supposed to fix that load time. I never saw it happen. Yeah, Zach, are you? Do you have any opinion on uh, Little Big Planet Karting? No, not necessarily. It's crap. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Little Big Planet was awesome. So, and I never got to play Mod Nation Racer. I'll bring it in. It actually it would be a good thing for throwdown. us to do for perhaps a throwdown. 
maybe if they fixed it for online so that there's not such a problem with it, maybe going with subscribers, but we could definitely do a throwdown. It's uh, fun. I've made some tracks. The coolest thing I've seen about it was that you can actually customize the, the weapon so you can put like a zebra head on the missile, make it have like a rainbow trail. You're kidding me. No, it sounds, That's it sounds awesome. pretty awesome, yeah. Man, I can't Okay, we, we need to move on. Uh, Minecraft 360, uh, we got a copy in the office. It comes out next uh, Wednesday. Uh, what do you think, Zach? It's fun. Like you said earlier when we were talking about it, it's an early build. Yeah. So uh, They don't have uh, the, the food the food meter. Uh, eating food just kind of refills your health. And it, it just it feels old. Mm -hmm. Outdated. But Outdated. it's still fun. It's still it's Minecraft. It's still fun. Uh, I don't know why you would get it on the 360 as opposed to getting it on the PC. Well, if yeah, you don't have a PC. I guess, yeah. Yeah, but it's not like it's a, a tough... You know, everyone has to have it. If you're watching this, you probably have a PC. Uh, not if you're on your phone, but you can get my you have a, your If phone. you can afford a nice phone that can watch this on the phone, why don't you have a decent PC? Well, that you can, can play Minecraft, Minecraft on a phone. Like, oh, it's true. not. It's not. I mean, it's. I would say it's just as good as what I was looking at for the 360. Maybe yeah. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. I'm always yeah. worried about the, the hate. The controls are a little. Yeah, funky the controls on the are phone. a little funky on the yeah. on the phone. But the controls looked. I didn't try it. A little funky on the 362. You kind of want a mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Mm. All right, Minecraft show. What what's new? Oh, we've upped the user count to 15. 15. Yep. And uh, like usual, you can send in your request to put on the whitelist to what is it? Yeah, GameFrontWhitelist at gmail.com. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'll put it's, it there. It's hard to remember, I know. Right there. <laughs> all right, I think that's pretty much all on on my my oh, listing. Sorry. Do you guys have anything you want to talk about? Um, hmm. Yeah, got any more stuff to, to unload on Zach about how Black Ops 2 is going to be awesome? Uh, no, no. I mean, I don't think... Uh, I'm not going to try to change anybody else's mind, because... Tell you what, they're going to make their money either way. <laughs> I don't have to convince anybody. They're going to get the money for working so hard. It's so strange how there's so many haters for that that franchise, yet it consistently breaks every single video game record known to man. Yeah. Which it already has, right? Yeah. Like first day, like for pre-orders. Oh, this one has yeah. to? Yeah, it like tripled the amount that the last one did. So wow. keep hating, keep buying Call of Duty. Yeah, and the haters going to hate. But they're still gonna buy. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. so they can complain about it. Just so they can it sucks. About it. <laughs> Snap. No, to buy another one. And keep on watching Game Front. Yeah, don't stop. I don't want to live in the alley again. Yes, again. Me neither. <laughs> me me and James will have to spoon in the alley. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we say as there's people outside our, our just windows. Those are goons. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> All right, guys. And uh, they heard <laughs> yeah, I just scared them away. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.